Welcome to the iRAM Model Builder tutorial series. This video will demonstrate how to perform a harmonic response analysis with our Model Builder software. Let's continue with the accelerometer example from the previous tutorial. In microsystems, harmonic response analyses are used to model the amplitude phase relationships for mechanical and electrical quantities in a given frequency range. For the demonstration, an acceleration load is applied, which will cause a constant displacement. Now a static simulation is performed, and a constant displacement of 1 micrometer will be shown. In a harmonic response analysis, the acceleration load must be applied on the AC value tab to define the sinusoidal acceleration amplitudes. Time-independent DC values can be superimposed, but are set to zero in the given example. Next, in the fluidic loads tab, a constant damping ratio of 0.1 is assigned to account for the viscous damping in the ambient air. Click the simulate icon and select harmonic analysis. Assign a frequency range from 1 Hz to 50 kHz with a resolution of 2000 data points. Start the harmonic response analysis. Move the data plot window to the main screen and adjust the window size. Select the displacements of body number 1 in the Y direction. Set data point markers at a very low frequency and at the resonance peak by clicking on the curve. Amplitudes in the upper curve and phase angles in the lower curve correspond to the expected values. In the next simulation run, the damping ratio is reduced to 0.001, which leads to a large resonance gain of 500. The frequency range is extended to 150 kHz to see the influence of higher order modes. Large resonance gains from high Q resonators are visualized best in logarithmic diagrams. Click on the log icon to toggle between the settings for linear and logarithmic axis scaling. In a further simulation run, accelerations in the Y direction are superimposed with accelerations in the Z direction. Loads and post-processor settings can either be defined in the graphical user interface as in the previous examples or simply be copied from a text file to the command line. The acceleration response in the Y direction is visualized by the orange curve and the acceleration response in Z direction by the red curve. Both displacement functions have the same amplitude gain at the resonance peak. The modal damping command MDMP can be used to assign different damping ratios to individual eigenmodes of the model. The previously assigned constant damping ratio of 0.1 will be changed for the out-of-plane mode. In the given example, the damping ratio of mode 5 is set to 0.05. The resonance gain of mode 5 is now twice as high as other modes. Electrical quantities such as voltage and current sources can also be considered in a harmonic response analysis. The upper and lower conductors of comb cells are connected to plus and minus 10 volts and the moving mass is set to ground. Optimal damping with a ratio of 0.7 is set for the fluidic domain. In addition to mechanical displacements, the capacitance amplitudes are analyzed in this example. Displacement amplitudes are reduced to 70.7% at the eigenfrequency. The capacitance amplitudes are approximately 500 femtofarad in a frequency range of about 10 kHz. The influence of electrostatic forces and electrostatic softening effects is demonstrated in a final example. A high bias voltage of 100 volts creates a significant shift in the natural frequency, which is often used to adjust the eigenfrequency of resonance sensors. To drive the system, a sinusoidal voltage of 1 volt is applied to the voltage port of the seismic mass. The amplitudes of the displacement function show a clear resonance peak at the tuned eigenfrequency. The admittance, which corresponds to the electrical current response at unit voltages, shows a resonance at the tuned eigenfrequency and an anti-resonance at the original mechanical eigenfrequency. 
Harmonic response analyses are very important simulation features to analyze the steady state of electromechanical systems for sinusoidal loads and voltage or displacement constraints. Further characteristic properties as the settling time and the response to non-harmonic load functions require a transient simulation, which will be demonstrated in our next tutorials. We hope that you enjoyed this video.